Hong Kong publishing firm Apple Daily is in the brink of closure following police raids and the arrests of its executives. Annie Mancilia explains why live. Yes, Annie? Steph, next, uh, Digital's publishing arm and pro-democracy Apple Daily might hold operations by Saturday as Hong Kong authorities have made it impossible for them to continue operations with their core financial assets of 2.3 million U.S. dollars frozen. This came after police raided and found dozens of articles that allegedly breached the national security law. Apple Daily's editor-in-chief and chief executive officer were charged with conspiracy, colluding with a foreign country, and were denied bail on Saturday. Three senior executives were also arrested and released pending investigations. Hong Kong Security Bureau Secretary John Lee said the police raid did not target media as a whole, but aimed at those who use reporting as a tool to put national security in perils. A senior employee revealed, however, that the freezing of financial assets is a proof to how far the government will go to impair private companies. Meanwhile, host of Apple Daily Nightly News broadcast Ingrid Che, who signed off for good on Monday, said she hoped Hong Kong journalists would continue to hold ground and pursue the truth. Steph? Annie, but how is it that the private financial assets were already put on hold given that the charge against Apple Daily is still pending? Is that in accordance with the law in Hong Kong? Well, uh, Steph, as far as being legal is concerned, the Police National Security Unit conducted a search operation in Apple Daily's office with a search warrant under Article 431 where it states that it has the power to search and seize journalistic materials. With regards to the financial assets though, the Security Bureau didn't elaborate on the legality of it, if any, but said that any application related to the frozen property would be handled according to the law. Now, this creates frustration to Apple Daily, of course, since it would mean no money to pay for employees and even electricity bills and other operational costs and whatnot which put the company at risk of closing soon. Steph? Thank you, Annie. Reporting live from Singapore.